wow, that was not what I was expecting. I started the game, and I basically, um, the volume was a lot louder than I thought. So, uh, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, I guess depending on when you're watching this, uh, because we can do that now. Uh, this is, uh, Disco Elysium. I believe it's the, uh, I forgot what the term is, the Final Cut version. I have no idea, um, Oh, I, I, not no idea, sorry. I should be very careful with my words. I have an idea of what the game's about, um, but I meant I have no idea what to expect, is what I was going to say. Uh, all I know is that I was on the search for, you know, some new games. Uh, today, well, technically, technically right now it's Tuesday where I'm at. Um, and I didn't get the chance to do my music Mondays. Uh, I got, I hung out with some friends and stuff like that, so... Instead, I decided to want to try this new game. I've also been playing Stray. Don't worry, I'm going to finish that. Uh, but right now, um, I heard a lot of good things about this game, uh, Disco Elysium. And general premise is it's a it's a detective-based game. It's a really interesting dice roll kind of role-playing game. And all I know is that uh, I'm excited because it does involve a lot of getting to know the community, the people, interacting, gaining, gaining relationships. Uh, the roll of the die kind of mechanic adds like a bit of randomness to your to the game But honestly, I have no idea what to expect. I just know that when I was looking into this game I heard a lot of a lot of lot of good things about it and that the final cut version has full uh, full voice acting and I think because before that there wasn't um, And there's some other things that I, I don't I don't know. I don't really know what I'm getting into All I know is that I'm, I'm excited for this little bit of roller coaster I'm going to try to keep these into some short little segments just to, you know, just to digest, you know, process as, as time go, goes. But all I know is I'm all about detective stuff. I love deducing. I love being cere like cerebral narratives and trying to figure things out. So if you're watching this, I hope you enjoy this journey with me. And if you have any tips or tricks or whatever as you're watching, then please feel free to, to share that. Uh, but let's get right into it right now. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so... It's so like my archetype, so I can be a thinker, which is extremely intelligent, but I'm very bad with people. I know, I know, I know, knows interesting facts, comes up with original ideas, okay? Sensitive, very psychological, a magnetic personality, but unstable, might begin to lose his mind. Physical, extremely physical, interacts with the, the world through his body, gets things done, but dumb as a rock. Ooh, okay. So this one, that's so, so as you can see, it's already showing that there's different stats that you can get. So I guess there's, in, there's intelligence, there's physical, there's, I don't know what the FYS would stand for. And then maybe motivation or something. Uh, and then I guess these ones have extra like plus encyclopedia, plus inland empire, plus hand-eye coordination. I like these, but I want to try to create my own. Okay. Whoa, uh, what does this mean? Okay, so, so let's just start off with one one everything first, okay? So this is my intellect. I, I apologize, my screen is probably covering that. So intellect, intelligence is your raw brain power, how smart you are. Psyche is like how sensitive, how emotionally intelligent you are. I tend to gravitate towards being more emotionally intelligent. Uh, so masculine your musculature how strong you are physically and your sense oh that's what mot stands for your senses and how ag agile you are um i'm assuming that as the game goes on i could probably like level those things up so i'm gonna just i'm a little cliche and i like to start off with average everything which is good man i don't know what to expect this is exciting the last time i played a game like this was when like i played this like stick rpg game and anyway uh, so yeah, I want to balance everything out and just kind of see how it goes. I don't want to be better at something that I'm not. Um, I guess the only thing about the custom characters, I don't get to have like that extra thing or something. Oh no, I do. Oh man, I get to choose. Whoa, this is... What is this? Okay, so... Intellectual base plus three. So I have to have an intellect plus three. So I can choose one of these. I see. Okay. So let's see. So logic is wield raw intellectual power to deduce the world. Call upon all your knowledge. Produce fascinating trivia. Practice the art of persuasion. Enjoy rigorous intellectual discourse. Okay. 
Play the actor, lie and detect lies. Ooh. Not very good with this. I like rhetoric. Conceptualization. Understand creativity. See art in the world. That's very me. I feel like I do this a lot. Visual calculus. Calculus. You can start crime scenes. Make laws of physics work for the law. Conceptualization. I'm more of that. I understand creativity. I see the art in the world. I, I feel like I'm more that. I want to play the way I am. Like who I am as a person. So... I am quite logical. Um, I am not an encyclopedia. That's my friend, Obi. Rhetoric. I'm not very good at persuading. I don't like lying. Um, torn between conceptualization and logic. Uh, you know, I'm going to go for logic. So the logic is there. Oh, wait, I only get one? Whoa, whoa, wait, 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 oh, what, I, wait, 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 what did I do? Oh, okay, well, I guess I chose logic. We're gonna go for it. The Furies are home in the mirror. It is their address, even the clearest water, if deep enough can drown. R.S. Thomas. Alright, well, I didn't get to read the other ones, but hey, let's just, let's just get there into it. There is nothing. Only warm, primordial blackness. Your conscience ferments in it, no larger than a single grain of malt. You don't have to do anything anymore. Ancient reptilian brain. That's awesome. I like that there's voice acting. I can see how this is going to be really cool. I don't have to voice act an actual thing, so let's just get into it. Ever. Oh. Yeah, I don't have to ever voice act ever. Never. Ever. Okay, got it. I got it. I won't simply keep on non-existing. Never, ever, ever? Question mark. Never, ever, ever, baby. <laughs> okay. An inordinate amount of time passes. It is utterly void of struggle. No ex-wives are contained within it. This is great. Give me some more. What was that about the ex? Yeah. What was the ex thing? My no ex-wives are contained. An awareness creeps up on you. A mass lies hidden in your dead angle, soaking in some lurid acidic source. It's limbic system. and shameful. A ball of meat surrounding you. This is a terrible line of questioning, and it will only lead to more awareness of the meat thing. My limbic system. I wish. What? Hold on. I gotta Google this. What is the limbic system again? This is kind of cool. I like that the narrative is, you know, it's already starting off really interesting. Lim limbic system. So the limbic system is a part of the brain involved in our behavior and emotional response. Okay, so that narrative is like, yeah, my response, emotional response. So plunge back into the fathomless deep. No, I wanted to know more about this X something. Yeah, I kind of want to know more about that. X love. X tenderness. It is foolish of you to resurface to the loss. Not after all the damage you've suffered to get here. Some of it irreversible. Stay. Sail with me through the abyssopelagic zone. Abyssopelagic. Whoa. That's a big word. Allons-y. Never let me go. No, I want to get off now. I like... I like pain and burning light and wanting things from people who don't want to give them to me what no I want to get off now I like pain and burning light and wanting things from people who don't want uh huh I feel like I'm thinking about this too hard Okay, whatever. All right, nothing town to fuck all, Bara. A return trip to the silence, please. Let's visit the ancient Zero Ohm. Look, there's. I am tired of being this type of animal, and who gives? <laughs> what? Ancient reptilian brain. Is this just me, my consciousness thinking? I guess. Let's visit the ancient Zero Ohm. Great choice, Elder One. It has always been like this. And it always will. 
Don't stop, keep singing, sing me a song of death. Wait, no, I need to belittle myself instead. What? I don't like these options at all. Do you really? Don't be naive, of course not. I want to seal the inky blackness until forever ends. I do, let me off. You wouldn't like it if I told you what was back there. Why'd you think you had to bludgeon yourself into oblivion? Or did you not sense yourself marinating? Poured so much on yourself, got a bit carried away, did we, Chef? Hmm. It's a very, like, poetic way of Fear expressing... and apprehension. You should ask what's out there first. Easy success. Inland Empire. Fear and apprehension. You should ask what's out there first. Wait, I did this to myself? Tell me what's waiting for me. I don't care. I'm an idiot. I'm bra a brave idiot. Wait, I did this to myself? Tell me what's waiting for me. Uh, fear and apprehension. Wait, yeah, like fear and apprehension. Yes. You're one disco mother. Tell me what's waiting for me. I don't... What? There's this giant ball there. An evil apes. What? An evil apes are juking it out on the ball. You're one of them. It's basically all just evil apes juking it out on a giant ball. I like that. I like that. It's, it's like a very uh, metaphorical way of describing the world. Uh, it's a giant disco ball and a bunch of little apes, I guess. How big is the ball? How small are the apes? Ooh. They're both good ones I want to ask. How big is the ball? How small are the apes? Infinitesimally small. Mm. Okay, I guess how big is the ball? You can't even make out it's a ball when you're joking it out. It's that large. Interesting. I like that. <laughs> you're so dis when you can become so distracted that you literally forget about the ball that you're on. Okay. Okay. How big is the ball? And this duking it out. I keep hearing about. What's that? Time for resources. It's just a stupid expression you picked up somewhere. The part of the what presentation you want to take home with you is this. You hmm. have to beat the other evil apes in the face. Oh, you. I feel like I died, or I'm dying, or I'm dead, because this is like these are thoughts that I feel like you'd have somehow if you were in that process. Um, that's sad. No, I would not want to do something like that. Yes, it is, and you drowned in that sadness a long time ago. Yeah. What do you mean drowned? See, it's kind of hinting that like I feel like I died. Or I was drunk, which could evoke the same feeling of being dead, I guess. Oh, damn. That's me, all right. Okay, so I've got, like, a health bar. I've got, like, a blue bar. Okay, I can walk very slowly but surely. What is that? Can I press that? I can't press that, can I? Oh, so I use my right trigger to. Is that my shirt? What is that? Looks like someone tore out the tape while the song was playing. Yeah, it sure does. Is that my coat? Oh. Okay. What is that? It's a shoe. My green shoe. How do I zoom in? Okay, so this is how to zoom in, zoom out. Zoom in! Zoom out! Zoom in! Uh, zoom out! Sorry. Okay. Ooh. Okay, so this is how I check my... My stuff. Wow, this is kind of crazy. This seems like a lot. Um, I'm literally wearing... Oh, wait. I could literally wear one shoe. <laughs> oh, man, I'm a mess. This is why, you know, 
If you're gonna drink, drink responsibly or don't drink at all. Just my old. Oh, I see something here. Can I please grab my tie? This fan has two chain pull switches. One ends in a tiny fan, the other in a light bulb. A truly horrific necktie has somehow attached itself to one of the blades. <laughs> I like this. See, so this is what I'm talking about with the dice roll. That there's a bit of a dice roll. Excuse me. There's a bit of a dice roll aspect, which is kind of cool. Um, okay, so savoir faire, medium 10. Grab the tie. So that's a chance to win. So this is a white check. You may retry it. Even. So it means I have three tries to do the savoir faire. Uh, if I get two double dice, I lose. Always loses. If I get double sixes I always win medium is 10 so in other words I need to get a 10 if I want to be able to grab the tie uh, pull on the fan pull on the light bulb let me just not waste my savoir faire the blades come squeaking to a halt it should be easier to reach the tie now yeah I can so so now that's turned off my chances are 92% plus 3 fan is turned off uh, what is it oh it means to my roll I don't even know let's just try you swoop up and catch the tie. Snap. It's released from the blade. So far fair. You swooped up and touched. Oh, cool. What you have in your hand is a truly hideous thick tie with four or five different patterns. The knot reminds you of a new. Okay, so now I'm wearing my ugly little tie here. Man, I'm a mess, bro. Let me just grab my stuff. Let me grab my pants. Oh, uh, that's a broken shirt. Oh, wow. Um, it's broken glass here. That's my shirt there. Can I please wear that? Yep, let me wear my Ash. Actually wearing a top now, thank goodness. Uh, can I investigate that? What is going on in my apartment here? Oh. Okay, okay, chill, chill. These mechanics are weird. What? Okay, so that's not within my... I don't know what's going on here. Or what that is. You see bottles in the bath of wine, beer, and sweet liquors. So like I said, I'm pretty sure I was drinking the heck out. A mirror hangs above a bent and broken sink. In a first discharge of masculine energy, someone has ripped half the faucet off. Hot water sprays from the base, and steam covers the mirror. You cannot see yourself, just the outline of a man. Suddenly, you realize you have no memory of the face that awaits you there, underneath the soft vapor. That's interesting, because if you load it, notice that my, car, my card, my... Yeah, like, I can't even recognize what that is. It's kind of scary looking, actually. Uh, really? Nothing? Wipe the mirror? No way, I'm not doing this. Back off. Uh, yeah, why not? As you slowly reach your hand towards the sky. Abort. You clearly have not thought this through. You won't like what you see there, and you will never unbecome it. Maybe I should touch it first, make sure there's nothing wrong with my face. Yeah, I don't care what. <laughs> okay. Alright. Um. You have no idea who this thing is, do you? Dear Lord, help me. What is this? Of course I do. It's um, it's some kind of superstar. I think I'm a superstar. <laughs> this is the face of a late-stage alcoholic. Yeah, I'm just going to be honest with myself. Honesty is the best policy. Too late. You clearly have rigor mortis on your face. Oh, wait. Is that an expression? Are you trying to make an expression with that face? <laughs> why? I'm not making it. The face is making itself. I have no idea why it's there. It just is. Please stop. It's horrible. You're scaring yourself. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. You can't stop. It's like it's not even voluntary anymore. You have worn that grin into your face and now it won't come off. What does it even mean? What is the emotion <laughs> you're trying to convey? Superstar. God, I don't know. It's indescribable. I think it's supposed to look suggestive. I'm afraid it's meant for the ladies. I'm insinuating that I'm vaguely sympathetic. I think I'm sort of pulling it off, too, in a sad-has-been kind of way. There's some charm to it. It's an expression of pain. 
That's so interesting. I like this. I like that this game is so like psychological and it makes you think and it's kind of meta. Um, God, I don't know. It's indescribable. I actually don't even describe it. These are very cliches. I love it. I love it. I think it's supposed to look suggestive. I'm afraid it's meant for the ladies. <laughs> See, that's an assumption. Uh, I don't know. You should check yourself for a pulse. Because from here, it looks like a cadaverous spasm. Bruh. I don't want Good to know. Good call. Go ahead and try something if you like. Or, you know, stop staring into the mirror. Encyclopedia Formidable 13. Deep dig, deep, dig deep into your mind to look at the source of the expression. Electrochemistry. Impossible 18. Attempt to stop the expression from happening. <laughs> um, you may retry it. This is a white check. Encyclopedia 3. Okay, the source of the expression. Sure. Like the rest of you, it comes from a bad place somewhere in the past. That's all you know for now. <laughs> okay. Put the skill points into things like open this way. Check. Oh. Attempt to stop the expression. Sure. It's too late. Like an image on film. Bruh. The expression. <laughs> Belongs to your primary motor cortex. All right, okay, let's just let the mirror be for now. Great. Now I'm gonna literally have that image on the bottom for the rest of my life. Uh, I guess that's my fault. Yes, I gained a shirt. Thank goodness. I could definitely use a shirt. All right. Um, man, is there anything I could drink that is not alcohol to just get sober? I wonder why this thing is showing up. Okay, so I see. So certain skills will be able to give you more opportunity to potentially have better roles um, when it comes to like certain actions. Um, okay, so I'm basically wearing everything except for my left shoe. I can get gloves. I don't got no hat. I got nothing. Man, I'm all over the place. This magnificent bottle of Commander Red is empty. Anything in here? Okay, let me check this thing here. This real to real tape player is still rolling, no, it's still on, rolling empty. Oops. I don't know what's happening here, I'm just trying to. Okay, let's. I guess. You must value privacy, this door has been locked from the inside. What? Okay, I must be missing something, right? The window stands broken in its frame. Cold wind blows in. Look out. Oops. So I can look out. Visual calculus, easy nine. Ex assess the damage. Okay. Let's try that. The shards face outward. Whatever broke this window came from the inside. Oh, that's kind of cool. I see. So, be so right now I'm at logic, um, so I can look at the world a little bit more generally speaking. I guess. Did I break it with it with my own hands? It looks like it. A fine web of scarring covers the back of your right hand, but none of it is recent. What did this then? More likely a projectile than a held object. There are no fragments on the floor from pulling a tool back in after impact. Yeah, that's interesting. So it looks like something was shot or thrown, like a assess the side of the impact, perhaps. More likely a projectile that held the object. Floor for pulling a tool back in after impact. Hmm, that's interesting. Okay, uh, what am I doing? I'm being a detective, so I want to assess the it side of the impact. It is too large for a bullet, yet too small for a piece of furniture. You're looking for something heavy and larger than your fist. The single green shoe you found fits the hole almost as well as your foot. It would have also been a congratulations. I was gonna say you smashed the window with your own shoe. Now you own the lucky you can one. still find it on the balcony outside. If you're lucky, you could still find the other one on the balcony outside. A cool wind gushes in. Your toes curl up from the cold. Find your other shoe. Excuse me, broken window. A cool wind gushes. Okay. 
That's cool. I like this. I'm really liking that. How the game is setting up, how it's giving you the tutorial and explaining how the skills work. I like Loki. Do forever regret the fact that I have that face at the very bottom left now forever. Please don't keep staring at it. Every time I look, I kind of regret it. But you know what? I wanted to know who I am a bit more. So, okay. So find my own shoe. Oh, so I need a key. Why is it doing that? You hear a jingle. Keys are clinking in the pocket of your flare cut pants. Oh, that's interesting. So that circle around my head was my own thoughts. So that's really cool. The narrative is being driven by like literally everything in my own thoughts. It says whirling in rags on the aluminium key ring. There is a single key on the ring. The number one is etched on it. It should open the door. Okay. Cool. So I've got the key now. I was wondering, I'm like, what is that weird halo around my head? Now I know. Oh, whoa. I sobered up fast. Oh, I'm running now. Ooh, this is so intriguing. There's so much to do. For the fourth de degree to centigrade dull, there's something on the table. It's a door to the outside, I guess. Ooh, I want to talk to this girl. Hello, officer. This calendar says March the year 51. Let me talk to her, I guess. The young woman raises a cigarette to her. Classy, lips. Miss Orange Disco Dancer. The young woman, okay. Her eyes are brown and her face is speckled with birthmarks. She can't be more than 28. That's so cool. So so these are the skills that I have and like these are the things that are going to be. So that's the deduction. So I'm wondering if my perception was higher and skilled and I would be able to determine like things more visually quick, faster, I guess. Officer, my military person, turn your bloated face away from her beauty and just keep on walking. No. And my military person. No, no I don't want to turn my bloated face away from her beauty and just keep walking on. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm embarrassed about my face, but... Uh, no. Uh, no. Wait, I know, I'm a businessman. Chief Executive Officer, right? Then why did you call me Officer? Because you're a police officer, sir. Are you sure? I am, yes. Unless you've been feeding us a set of very well-rehearsed lies all this time. You've been here for three days on official police business, no less. What and what business is that? Couldn't say. In truth, so far, mostly drinking. Yikes. Why don't I remember being a cop or anything else who in their right mind would let me be an officer? Just, just try the expression on her. Let her know you want her physically. Excuse me, no thank. No thanks. So suggestion, my level is two. I, I don't really know the stats, numbers, and all this stuff, so I should get going now. Why don't I remember being... Who in the right mind would let me be an officer? Why don't I remember being a cop or anything else? Yeah, no, I should just get going. I'm, I'm going to get cringy now. Of course. Be careful, officer. They don't like the police around here. Something stirs in you as she's about to go. Call it an instinct, a need, the need to ask questions. It's like you said the words a million times before. She huh. looks back at you, a light glinting off her eyes. Actually, yeah, what if I don't want to ask questions? No, I want to ask questions. Yes. What is that there? What is it that they have against the police here? Where exactly is here? Where am I? Tell me, is it 51 now? I know that. Your room is almost next to, to mine. Did you hear anything last night? Okay, you can go. What is that? Okay, I kind of want to know, yeah, why they don't like police. Okay, Google. Stop. My Google Chrome. My Google. Host. Anyway. Okay, so right now it's 821. That's the time. Is that that's the morning, I'm assuming? Okay. So there's time, too, I'm assuming. I, man, I got to keep track of this. Okay, anyway. What is it that the police have? Okay, so I kind of, like, I know what I am. Uh, I know a bit of the game, so I just kind of want to know, like, 
I think I'll figure out more why they don't like the police here. So I guess your room is almost next to mine. Why? Yeah, did you hear anything last night? There was the usual ruckus. Loud disco music. Loud dis Did I have any visitors? I couldn't say. It's impossible to hear people speaking from over here. She's talking about the room next to my loud disco music. Oh, yes. Various artists. Ostentatious orchestration prime among them. Oh, I forget, like, I get lost in the, the vo voice. I can forget that, like, there's actual descriptions. She reads, and I brought waited for the name to connect with you. Oh, oh, we're huge where I come from. Uh oh. I was very young then, of course. Like, seven. Life gets hard, but we go on. Hmm, yeah, we just, we go on, all right. I don't know about that. At around two o'clock, the disco stopped, and there was two a change of pace. A slow, sad song started playing, like organ music on repeat. That went on for quite a while. Some of the time, you were yelling along to it. Dang, was I singing this show? Show her the empty case of the smallest church in St. Saint's. What was I singing? That it doesn't matter anymore, and that we're alone now. It was difficult to tell. The song itself is very quiet and soft, but you sounded like a winded boar, sir. It was mm. hard to understand what you were singing on top of it. When you say wounded, do you mean that it was a cool way, like a wild bean? Then what happened? I've heard enough. I'm sorry. Uh, I don't know why I'd be sorry for. I didn't really do anything there, you know. So what happened? I want to know then more. Then you started screaming and trashed the place. You sure I wasn't being assaulted? That's so me. What did I do? You're making this up. I would never behave like that. See, that's the thing. I have no idea. I don't know about my character enough to know if that actually is me. Like, maybe I did it. I was assaulted. That's so me. That's so me. What did I do? I don't, And I don't want to accept that cliche. Like, I like how it set me up in this way that it's like, sure, I'm an alcoholic. Yeah, maybe I did have a drink. But that doesn't mean that I am this so-called or my identity is so so defined by that trope. No, it didn't sound like there was a fight. It sounded like someone was trashing their room. A window was smashed. The tape oh. player, probably. Hmm. The song stopped. And furniture, too. A real destructathon. There was screaming. Then I think uh, you passed out. Oh, okay, maybe it was me, I guess. I mean, how would I be able, like, who would, like, lock the door from the inside and then break the window I guess was there anything else please tell me there wasn't anything else <laughs> I like that prides me to hear this tell me tell me there was more that's not no no there was I think you screamed that you didn't want to be this type of animal anymore mm. I may have misheard but it was sort of memorable I went out afterwards Everything was quiet by then, around four or five. She nods. And that was it. What is it that they have against the police here? Where exactly is here? Where I'm... Okay, so now I can... Oh, thank goodness. Okay. So I can figure out here. The dock workers are pretty cocky. They think they're police enough. At least here on the coast. I can't say about the rest of the city. The dock workers? So I'm li literally living, or I'm near the beach, I guess. What is it that they have against the police here? So, okay, so Doc, where am I exactly? Where exactly is here? You're in a hostel, sir. No, where are we? Like, we're in the world. We are in Revachol. Revachol is the disgraced former capital of the world, divided into zones of control under foreign occupation. Half a century after a failed world revolution, she is central to our moment in time. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so now I understand these skills. So if I if I kind of master the encyclopedia, when once I start getting into the game, then I would get a better sense of knowledge, like actual knowledge, real world knowledge that could be applicable. If I don't, and my skills not that high, I may not be able to get that. Because I think that's why I triggered it, because uh, I was able to. It's, it says easy. So there's certain moments, I guess, down the line where in the game that if it's easier, it will trigger that skill, and I'll get to I'll get the prompt of it, which would help me in solving cases. I'm assuming so. Should that mean something to me? Revishal forever. How about you tell me something else instead? Hmm. 
Virtual is a disgrace for capital of the world, divine to zones. So Revishal is like a like in a very terrible place. You sure look like you're from Revishal. Revishal parties. Yikes. Tell me, is it fifty one? You're fifty one now. It's fifty one. What century? Okay. The current century. And that's what what number? Centuries don't have numbers. They have <laughs> names. And this is the current one. Civilization has existed for 8,000 years, sir. Okay, tell me something. You're funny. right. There is nothing funny about civilization. Okay, that's interesting. I just low-key wanted to know. Like, I already knew it was 51. I just wanted to know how she was going to respond. Okay, you can Glad go. Glad to have been of assistance. Wow, okay. <laughs> Looks like she left a nice long stub in the ashtray. It's still smoking. So, can I actually open this room? Nope, it's locked for sure. Okay. Oh, that game is auto saving. Oh, thank goodness. I was just about to say, I really hope I don't lose my progression here. Uh, oh, there's some coins here. Stealing! I mean, you left it, so. Low 90 degrees centigrade rainfall. Oh, that's just the radio speaking. Ooh, so we go by reels. What is this? It's a door. Oh. You can sleep after 21 hours. Sleeping heals all your health. Okay, so this is a balcony. Oh, there's my shoe. Oh. Augusta Brini Wind washes over you. Yay, I have my other snake skin shoe. Let's go. There they both are. Two identical shoes, both copiously green and indiscriminately snakeskin, reunited on your feet, like two baby crocodiles. Oh, that's so cool. So each of the skills just kick in. So composure is how I present myself. Contextualization is like, yeah, like artistic. Um, medium. So I wouldn't maybe have been able to perceive that like two. That's so cool. That's really cool that the more skills you get, the more like awareness you get of the world and the more you get to know more about yourself and the anyway. I'm loving this game already. Wait, these do not like look like normal cop shoes. Yeah, they don't actually. How do they fit? It's pretty clear a normal cop is not what you are. Good. They're balanced. Comfy. Feels like the only good thing about you right now. Truth. <laughs> wow, that's funny. I have another thought in my head. The smell of the sea makes you dizzy. Interesting. Okay, so I don't like the water, I guess. This is really, really cool. I'm really digging this. Oh, something. You bad. should pick that fat, juicy cigarette butt from the tray. Light it up and smoke the living shit out of it. That's funny. Electrochemistry. So that's just like my body in responding to the urge. So I guess I am a smoker, right? Because if I if I responded it to like that, then why would I? Who knows what you are? A monster. That's fair. A murderer. The gnome of Jeroma. Bruh. You feel like a smoker. Especially when you look at that juicy, succulent, seductive cigarette stub. Still smoldering deliciously. Interesting. Okay. Uh, but she broke it at the filter. I can't smoke that. <laughs> How very astute of you. This <laughs> renders it ineffectual. You should look for a whole cigarette. Or better yet, an entire pack. Strike that. A carton. Make sure they're all healthy and able-bodied. Then smoke them all. That's so cool. I like that it like literally captures the idea or... Yeah, like your electrochemistry, like he probably maybe is a smoker, but we never know for sure. But this is how the body could hypothetically naturally react or respond to being a smoker. Um, not that my character is, because I can make that choice, but I'll think about it. Good. Thinking about yummy cigarettes in your mouth <laughs> I like is that. the next best thing. Make sure you think about juicy sticks of tobacco all the time, though. 
it doesn't count. And when you're done thinking about them, graduate, graduate to, to plus. get in there. Smoking them gives massive bonuses. Find smokes and smoke them. I don't want to though. Oh man, is it gonna help me in this game though? Okay. Oh, that's an actual task. Near impossible. Right, so you need to get your hands on some cigarettes and then smoke them for those massive bones. Find a pack, put it in your hand, equip it into hell slot in your inventory, and the smokers and the smokes will do the rest. Oh, I don't want to smoke, but I guess if I have to for the game, it'll be better. I can't even afford that. I literally have 40 cents in my. I only use the word cents, sorry, real. Can I not reach that? You're joking, right? Oh, I forgot to. Okay, true. Where am I? Oh, okay. <laughs> this is where it looks would be. A big old karaoke mic just waiting for someone to sing. Ooh. Is that another mirror? <laughs> Speakers connected to the radio. The music is seasoned with static. You should totally sing karaoke here, the first chance you get. Your emotions need to be expressed. People need to know your vast oceanic soul. My soul is immense. My soul is modest. It's normal size. My soul is puny. My soul is cubic content. My soul's cubic content is obscured by the hangover. Discard thought. <laughs> ah, my soul is modest. It's normal size, I guess. Exactly. It's measured, level-headed, and, and it's through a PA system by other people. Ah, okay, okay. What should I sing when it comes to it? You should sing the sad small church song from that tape you found. Thought it was obvious. Of course, they'll really get a gauge on my soul with that one. I was thinking maybe I could sing something happy, like from those Austenius orchestrations, folks. I'd really get a gauge on my soul for that one. You should sing the sad small sad church song. Oh, I can't even discard the Serves thought anymore now. Right. Wipe that smirk off their face with your sad, tragic song. You would need another copy of the tape first, though. The one upstairs is destroyed. Oh man, these are actual things. I don't have to do they are these actual tasks? Oh. Soft pair of the electric juicer comes from the kitchen. Someone is working. I mean, yeah, I kinda knew that. To be fair, I guess my perception is not very good. Ooh, what is that? No sh no, what? Sorry, what did I gain again? Huh? Was it? I swear I just picked something up. What? <sighs> okay. The large bubble is rising to the surface. Minya has been wiped clean, only the word Monday is written on it. Okay, I want to talk to him after. Is there anything interactive here? I don't want to leave. So this is what I mean by I'm really excited about this game, about interaction and, and people, because I want to get to know more people in the area. A man in his late 20s stands the behind man. the counter, inspecting a stuffed seabird. As you approach, he gives you a sideways glance. Then looks down again. That was disdain in his eyes. Even now, he's purposely ignoring you. Hmm. I was gonna say. Look at the stuff. Look at the stuffed bird. Are you the bartender? Obviously, he is. Something tells me you don't like me. Oh no! You're a hero. A real hero cop. Hmm. All right. Sorry. There's something on my lip. But yeah, so that's that's what we're saying. And a lot of the dock workers here don't like cops, right? So, oh, I realized the thing that I got gave me a plus one on my health. I wonder why. Could the massive property damage upstairs have anything to do with this? Yeah, you're being sarcastic here. Like clearly, that's the logic that's kicking in, right? Am I? Or did you ride in? 
take the body down, solve the murder, and not trash my hostel room. Or did you write it? Take the body down. I did not appreciate it at all. This is no way to talk to an officer. Oh my god, I did all those things. I'm guessing I didn't do on any of those things. You're right, you didn't. And it's only taken you three days not to. What have I been doing all this time? Have you seen me around? No, I haven't seen you around. I'm not always here. He keeps plucking at the bird sometimes. Now me that you don't like look at the stuffed bird. Are you the bartender? A competent work of taxidermy. The white and brown seabird lies among piles of coasters and drying mugs. One of its wings broken. The man is trying to mend it. Looks like the bird was ripped off the shield that was used to mount it. Most likely on a wall. Something about it makes you feel bitter. Huh. Look, your buddy is over there. He looks at the doors where a man in a bomber jacket is trapping his foot on the floor. Why don't you go and talk to him, okay? Hmm. See, I could say that, but I don't want to build a terrible relationship with him. Honestly, I could have said that, like, you know, because he is kind of being rude, but he has a right to. Um, like you said, I trashed the place. I didn't really do much. I haven't solved the murder, and, you know, so I guess might as well just get to know more about what he means by that. He pretends not to hear you, concentrating on the bird inside. All right, I'm going to leave it at that point. That's how I know, like, you know, this is where the EQ comes in. Like, I can tell and read the room that, you know, like, just leave it as it is. He's not going to give me more. It's not worth it. Uh, and I should probably just listen to him and actually talk to my buddy. Over here in the bomber jacket. I'm assuming that's my buddy down there. Oh, can I not go here? Okay, I'm struggling to move. Just trying to see if there's anything else around here that could be of use. What's that? Is that a Jack Daniels? Okay. Me trying to interact with him is kind of useless because he's already asleep. Or probably drunk, perhaps. Oh, what's behind here? Mess hall reserved for union members. Only door doors open at six. Okay, well, let's see what this is. It's unplugged. Okay, let me talk to my buddy first. But let me actually talk to her. Hello, sweetie. Lena the zoo, the cryptozoologist. I can't pronounce words. The cryptozoologist, zoologist. Sorry, guys. I keep drinking water because. Man, it's so cold in my basement, and it makes me thirsty. Lena, the cryptozoologist's wife. Oh, got it. Hello, sweetie. You shouldn't keep your colleague waiting. Orange bomb. Okay, fair enough. Well, I just wanted to see ladies first. I'm a gentleman. Just trying to be chivalrous. A bespeckled man in an orange King bomber jacket Kitsuragi. is tapping his foot on the floor. Looks like he's waiting for someone. You, as you approach, he narrows his eyes and extends his hand in greeting. If an assault were launched on this building right now, if the windows came crashing down and the whole world descended upon you, this man would hurl himself in death's way to save you. You are sure of this, but why? He speared the corpse. Oh, so I guess it's just like some supernatural, like, um, con or like, just thought coming to my head. I guess. Hold on. Who is he to me? He's clearly my buddy. Uh, I'm gonna trust him. And that's so interesting. Yeah, the spirit, the corpse. is like, I don't know why, but I guess I will. Hello, I'm Kim Kitsuragi, Lieutenant, Precinct 57. Script is firm. You must be from the 41st. You realize he's waiting. For this is your chance to come up with a really good name for yourself. Get creative. Oh, conceptualize gosh. now the conceptualization could have came in handy here say nothing I don't really know my name I don't but see that's the thought I would say to myself not out loud conceptualization I invent a name for yourself Ooh, maybe I don't maybe I don't want a name do I want to come up with a name um, or am I gonna just stick to no name throughout this game because I feel like at some point I'm gonna have to give my name Right or rather, you know, if I, uh, in order to maintain a relationship with people or to get maybe to to get people get to know people more, there's safety in knowing my name. 
Uh, I guess I'm just gonna make a name for myself, sure. Oh goodness, please let it be good. Concentration makes you squint your eyes. Your name should be deep gold and orange, like a forest fire looming on the horizon, but mixed with the stench of liquor rising from your breath. You're two steps closer to it, but there are still many to go. It is not yet time. I mean, I guess it's a better response since I don't know my name, I guess, myself. But at least he, you know, I'm communicating when... Okay, then. It looks like we had a little skidding error on Sunday. Saturday, too, actually. Have you had time to talk to the manager here? What's <laughs> the word the cop theory, man? No, I haven't. There must be some kind of mistake you're talking. You're taking me for someone else. If you don't mind, we should talk to him again. Ask him for a rundown of the area. Now that I'm here as well. I understand the scene is out back, right? It also wouldn't hurt to assure him the police are finally here. In full force, I mean. Have you mapped out the initial interviews? I have, yes, I haven't. Okay. We'll have time for that after we take a look at the coroner's case. Have you removed the dead body from the tree? Dead body from the tree. Dead body. So it's interesting. These are things like it's interesting how like there's the options are I could say things that are in my head as a player. Like I literally have no idea. I've never played this game. I would not question that. I don't like dead bodies. Look, man, you know, yeah. Have you removed the body from the tree? No, completely. So the body is still in the tree this is the first time you detect a weariness in the lieutenant's voice it is obvious he would have preferred for the body to no longer be in the tree where it has been hanging for seven days straight we should go there as soon as we are done talking to the owner what if i told you i'm not really a police officer how can you be so sure i'm a police officer but i can't remember anything what we're what were we supposed to do again let's get going then after you officer He's the captain manager, inspect victim's body. If you're about to embark on an investigation, shouldn't you have a badge? Wait, shouldn't I have a badge or something? You mean you don't have a badge? It wasn't on me when I woke up. Pretend you found it. I have a badge. I'm I have a badge. Losing your identification card is a serious matter. My vehicle has a shortwave. You can use it to report your badge missing. I advise you to try to locate it as quickly as possible. But getting the body down should still take precedence. Lieutenant Kitsuragi is now in your party. You can talk to him whenever by interact. Oh, cool. Okay, so uh, I have a few tasks right now. Uh, so one of them is to interview the captain, but so I can't do that yet because I don't have a I don't have a badge. <laughs> Inspect the victim's body. I could do that now without the badge. I should report though first. So I want to make this active. Oh. Whoa. Oh, this is like active in the. Okay. So let me go to the car first. Because he said I can. He has something I can report with. Uh, I'll use this car to report. Okay, so I'm actually outside now. Whoa, this is really interesting looking car for night. Eight. Night. Yeah, you know, I assumed 51, but that's true. Like, what century? And they never told me what century. That's a clever way of trying to maintain the consistency of the era of the time. Because what is this? It's like I've never seen before. Before you stands a motor carriage. The bodywork is covered in blue and white livery bearing the number. Vapor emanates from the large engine on the back of the vehicle. It hasn't had time to cool. This must be the infernal machine that tore you from oblivion. Hmm. This must be the infernal machine that tore you from oblivion. What does that even mean? In the cabin, you are welcomed by a set of steering levers, a radio microphone on a hook, a pull-out toolbox under the seat, and the soft glow of the fuel preheater gauge. Tap on the fuel preheater gauge. Kim, what are you? What are we looking at? What is this machine? Hello. Pick up the radio. Run your fingers over one of the steering levers. Now I'm. The frequency radio. tableau lights up, and a green button labeled Prime Line 
glows like a feline eye. And then you hear something. The soft purr of electrical kittens. Radio waves cast far and wide over the metropolis. A woman's voice greets you through the static. This is Precinct 57. Hello, Lieutenant. How may I assist you? Hello, Alice. Please assist our colleague from the 41st Precinct here. I'm putting him on. Operating the radio is easy. Just be confident. You've probably done it a thousand times. Come in dispatch, come in dispatch, come in Delta 10, this is Firewalker copy. Hi Alice, this is the officer from the room. Meet you. Yeah, that makes the most logical sense. This is Officer Alice Demetri, Precinct 57. How may I assist you? Could you connect me to the 41st? I have something I need to report. I'm done with the radio for now. What? Just a second, officer. Old static clock, so I'll be like a bonfire. After a while, you hear an old man greet you from the radio. His ratty voice is oddly familiar. 10 to 10 five. This is 41st. Uh, come in. Over. A scrawny old man sits in a dusty cubicle, smoking, with a large white rectangle sewn on his vest. In front of him is a box shaped apparatus with an array of wires and antennas. The radio switchboard. Hi, this is. Me here. I work at your station. Then four. What's your status? Over. I uh, it's not good. Ten eighteen. Ten twenty. Over. Ten eighteen. Ten twenty. Over. State your message, sir. Over. Ten nine. Repeat message. Over. Ten four. Message received. This is a very serious situation. I need to ten twenty to the captain. Over. Is it him? What does he want? Says he lost his badge and needs to report. He what? He lost his badge? Who lost his badge? Jean Victor Mayor Chester McLean. Dick fucking Mullen. Who do you think? There it is, that's my name. Dick Mullen, that's my name. It's Officer Dick Mullen from the best seller, Dick Mullen and the Lost Identity. Bruh. Dick Mullen is not your name. It's the name of a fictional detective who would not lose his badge. Oh, there it is. Thank you, Encyclopedia. I would have never known this. Defend yourself. Immediately. They're laughing at you. Come on up here, tell them to stop this series. Haha, <laughs> officer has lost his badge. Haha, <laughs> like I'm the first copter. <laughs> Can we just move on? I want to get the report and be done with it. Ten four, I hear you, officer. I'm just going to make a note here that you are in pursuit of your misplaced badge. Oh. Fuck me! Mac, come here! You've got to hear this! What's Bad. going on? Super cop here, lost it. He lost his his badge. He lost his goddamn fucking badge. Could you all please stop saying lost his badge? I'm all enough of this now. I have other things to discuss. Ten nine, come again. I didn't get that. Over. The animated conversation in the back is making it difficult for him to hear. New you. heights even for Captain Sober. Ask him. <laughs> Ask him if he's lost his gun too. Oh, these guys are assholes. Excuse my language. Sorry, they're jerks. Sergeant Person wants to know if you lost your gun too. Over. Check your pockets. Check your... Holy fuck. You don't know where it is, do you? Check your pockets. Oh god, it's not here. I don't have my gun. Oh my gosh, where? where is my gun? Okay, it's gone. Your gun is... Ten nine, come in, officer. Did you get my question? We were wondering about your gun. Over. Oh man, so this is where the lying comes in. Uh, I suck at lying, and I clearly don't have my gun, so I don't know if I want to risk this because I have a 42% chance. Um, this is a red check. It cannot be retired. Oh, sorry, retired. Retried, sorry. Ten one, you're breaking up. Uh, ten nine, repeat, please. Over. Ten nine, come in, officer. Over. Oh, uh, I made it worse. Even before you can get the words out, 
everything gets scrambled in your brain. No, of course I didn't lose it. He says he didn't lose his gun or his fun. Ask him to describe it. His gun. Not his fun. Satellite officer McLean requests a description. Oh, requests a description, huh? We'll give him one. Describe the plasma gun. Cooling vents along the front and hydrogen flask sticking out too. I guess I can. It's a single shot kill A9. An armistice to be precise. Okay. Says it's a kill uh, 9 millimeters armistice. Armistice? What is he a fucking? Clearly he doesn't have his villier anymore. Dear God, he lost his gun. Oh, oh my. This isn't really a lot. Mac can face a giant of Coco Nur by himself. <laughs> but this go here, I didn't piss his pants. <laughs> oh, I, I can't. Fuck. He lost his ass because he still got his wiener. I'm not Bruh. going to. Ask him. <sighs> Sergeant Dorson here is wondering if you are still in possession of your genitalia. Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> I don't need to listen to this firewalker out. Yes, I lost my wiener too. Just lay off, okay? Hello? Ah, um, I could be a jerk back, but I don't want to. So I don't need to listen to this. The silence is almost deafening after you flick off the switch, severing the connect. That did not go well. I guess the important thing is that you followed protocol. And did we need anything else here? On the fuel pre the metallic drawer slides out from under the seat and clicks into place. I like the that there's also like that there's also organized. like sounds too, like folly, it's awesome. I can't imagine what this game was like prior to this edition. Um without any voice acting, without you know take like... what you need, officer. It's going to be a long case. I'm not protective of my tools, like some men are. He's clearly a little protective of his tools. But what can you do? Work is work. Flashlight. Uh, take the rubber-handed cane cutters. Take the red-tipped pry bar. Uh, it's this. robust, weatherproof, and well-made. Let's you see things in the dark you would otherwise miss. The pry bar feels nice and cold in your hand. Heavier. Useful for opening all sorts of doors and lids. The handles are long and sleek. Snap, snap, go the cutters in your hand. The pull-out toolbox slides back into it. Alright, we're done with that. Okay, so I got all that stuff now. Uh, let me just quickly do a quick check. Oh, it's starting to snow. Okay, I kind of want to go through and see some of these. So, um, where is the corpus one? The no, where was it? There, this one. So, connect to station forty-one. Understand cop culture. Oh, okay, I see what that is. So, this helps me to present better and intimidate the public. Assert yourself. Okay, so I have that authority. I don't clearly have that. Reaction speed, the quickest to react in touch of man. Ooh. That's so interesting, okay. I'm glad I kinda actually use logic because it helps a lot to be logical for now. Like it's a general I think skill that's needed necessary. Like I don't need to have like super speed and stuff like that now maybe. Because when we do dodge bullets and stuff. Okay, anyway, let's check here what I have now. So I have tools, got a bunch of stuff here. Ooh. Yeah, I don't even know what world we're in and what, like, these look nothing like realist, like the kind of tools that we use today. So, yeah, so right now this is my main goal is to just track my, my badge. But for now, I guess let's check on the body. Um, oh yeah, I forgot this is how I do it. Oh wait, did I have to go inside? Perhaps I can go out this way, because they said it was outside. 
Doors bolted aside was Chris. Oh, okay. Body, all right. Talk to Kuno's this got this. This boy throwing rocks at the body that the body can't be older than twelve. If there ever was such a thing as an ugly kid, then this is it. He's almost exquisite in his ugliness, like a gremlin. <laughs> Hey kid, a word, please, business. A moment of your time, please. I'm not getting into this right now. Nope. Can't talk, pig. Shit's coming up strong. Shit coming up strong. That sounds good. Joyous. You should hang out with this kid and see what that juicy shit is all about. I mean drugs. The kid's on drugs. Yeah, Kuno! Ride the lightning, Kuno! Kuno's riding at sea. Absolute from his brow and sends another the fuck does Kuno know what a rake is? Kuno is not a gardener. What should we do? Are you kids siblings? Kids, you want to hang out? The fuck are you talking about? He's calling us f**ks, Kuno. He says we're fucking each other. What? <laughs> Kuno, Kuno se Kunesi. Well. All right. Entertain the Kuno. Show me what you got. What you got there? What you got, huh? Show me what you got. Oh my gosh, the voice acting is really good. But, oh man, this is cheesing me out, bro. Who's Kuno? I'll get him off. Kuno's Kuno, pig? Boy points his chest with both his thumbs. It's always Kuno, never I. Clearly, the kid's using the third-person perspective as a shield. That's fair. I can see that. Interesting. You refer to yourself in the third person to distance yourself from the situation. He's a kid. He's not going to understand that. So you refer to yourself in third person. Why would I say that? Kuno, is that some kind of gang? You know, got it. I have another question. Shoot that shit at Kuno, pig or not. Body, what do you know about it? Yard. Right, pig. This is where Kuno plays with his little wooden choo-choo. What do you want with it? Yeah, else. whatever. Kuno doesn't give a shit. I feel he won't care, but let's just see. Shitload pig. What's your question? Don't tell the pig shit, Kuno. Pig's choking. He's totally choking. Ugh. Fucking idiot, Mulkapa. Doesn't know any questions. See, I feel like if my authority was higher here, oh man, these kids would not be treating me like this. They would be a lot more respectful. So that's really cool that, like, some skills give me more advantages than some others. Okay. Okay, well, I guess they don't really care, but they need to get out of here. Kuno doesn't fuck. You should really stop. <laughs> oh, wait, let me check my. Oh. That is for kids, it won't hold the weight of a grown man. Yeah, that's a good point. So, whoever killed this person, I mean, would have to be a, a kid? It was Kuno, bro. Kuno killed this guy. The corpse looks at you with bulging white eyes. The face around them does not look human. It's swollen and ready to burst. His lips are fish-like and his tongue like a ball gag in his mouth. You seem to be holding your breath. Turn away. 
A cargo belt twists his neck at an unnatural angle. The body below appears stiff. It's letting out an ungodly rot. The smell seeps in even through your clenched nostrils. God, what is that? Why is it so bad? I mean, it's because of the fact that he literally has been up here for seven days straight. Like, what do you expect? God. Like, go over your nose without throwing up? Is there a way I can access my tools? Because I feel like I want to cut him down. Sorry, cut the body down from the tree. Is what I meant. There he still is, looking right through you with his white eyes. The body. Oh, that helps a lot to see what I can interact with or not. There are several footprints in the mud, left by work boots. Anywhere from 6 to 12 peers have walked here. Get an exact count? I can do that? That's crazy. Okay, well, why not? Let's just see what happens. But what I, do yeah. you think you are? A super detective? You're hungover. These are just dents in the mud. <laughs> that no hurts. pattern emerges for the time being. Oh, I guess not. Okay, sorry. I didn't know. I'm just trying things. Alright, what kind of boots? Maybe my encyclopedia skill will kick in here. Heavy workers' boots with reinforced toes and hobnails. Isn't this something an industrial worker would wear? Oh, it's my visual calculus there. Hmm, interesting. <laughs> I can't believe I actually tried to perceive exactly how many. Let's see what I can work with here. What's in here? All oh, the money in a pill of magnesium. Oh, I have something that can increase my morale. I see. So when I lower mor my morale. If it gets too low, I guess, maybe that'll affect. Um, and I have things, or I can get items that can basically heal those things. So, yes, my morale's back. Okay, we'll pretend that never happened. <laughs> Ooh, what's this? The switch machine has been oxidizing for some years. Fair enough. What about this? Someone is trying to grow herbs in the greenhouse. Okay, I need. Can I please cut this guy down? There, he still is, looking right through you, with his white eyes. The body below is entirely dedicated to that corpse smell. Emitting it is all it does now. Okay, I just... Uh, is there a way to use the item here? I'm holding it. Oh, these chain cutters. Okay, well, I guess I can't really do much. I guess the next thing to do is to really just try to find where my, uh, my badge is. Oh, oh, what is this? You see a set of tire tracks in the brown slush that covers the plaza mosaic. What kind of vehicle drove through here? Reconstruct the movement. There's a 42% chance. Oh, I see what he means. That means I have to have the skill first to be able to do that. The tire tracks were left here by an oh. unknown event that took place some days ago. It's a message written in the language of burnt rubber. Some of that rubber stuck to the tiles right in front of the world and then accelerated straight into the fence. The driver proceeded to back out of the yard, barely stopping before hitting the adjacent, before heading south. Must have been in a hurry. Far drove to the fence, is this connected to the case? 
I think I got it, thank you. The old plot twist, what if I'm the murderer? I feel like that'd be too cliche if that was a call box with a matrix of push buttons lists Whoa. all the companies in the East Delta Commerce Center. Nope. <laughs> picked up if I had a bag. Oh man, I'm gonna need to find my badge. If I want to even interview the dude. Oh man. Wow, there's a lot to say here. Man. Alright, well, I'm going to cut it there. Uh, I'm going to quick save here real quick. <laughs> pun intended. Terrible pun. Uh, but, yeah, I absolutely love this game. I'm excited to see more of it. It pains me that I'm gonna cut it here, but I think like this game is so massive. Uh, there's so much to know and to dive into, to get into, to figure out. Um, and I don't wanna do that in such huge, huge chunks and pieces. I want us to be able to enjoy it together, um, be able to piece things together. So yeah, love the fact that this is a, a game that is somewhat, you know, a bit of the dice roll. There is a bit of the skill and things again. I love the fact that it's meta, I love that it plays on that, I love that I have to try to figure things out, even though I kind of already know what things are going on, um, but using those things and uh, applying that into this game is, is really interesting and in how they did this. Um, so I'm excited, I'm excited to know more about myself, who I am as a character, because they've been kind of playing that in the beginning that I don't really know who I am. Um, and I think that's going to be a huge aspect of this game, knowing what is going on and figuring out the case, like am I really a cop? Um, I love the voice acting, and this is so crazy to think that this game existed without any voice acting before. It was a lot more reading, so it is kind of like a book, and it is a journey, and it's exciting. I'm, I'm just excited. Uh, I love it, and I'm, I'm, I'm happy that I, I took the, the plunge to try something new that I've never, and, and play a game that I didn't even really know about. It was just on sale, um, on the indie games section for sales and stuff like that, and so I'm excited. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, and yeah, you know, as I always say, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on when you're watching this, um, but more so just, just be blessed and I'll see you all soon.